Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Uh, if you have any question on uh, the RSI or uh, about uh, our forecast and the, uh, the different pairs, don't hesitate to, uh, to type them on the chart uh, on your right. Uh, don't think uh, if you want to add something, uh, Steve, or uh, if you have yes, Christophe. Um, John had a question. He said um, on the Dow chart that you showed earlier on, what moving average were you using for the RSI? Uh, I was not using any moving average on the uh, RSI, but uh, okay. I spoke about the. Uh, the 14, uh, and the, okay. 14 uh, on the, uh, what did it say, of the uh, time horizon, so mm -hmm. the short term, uh, the, the time horizon of the RSI, uh, and the more uh, volatile uh, the, uh, the oscillator uh, will be. So if you are a uh, uh, very short term trader, try to, to take, uh, uh, for example, 9 or 10 on, on, the, uh, on the RSI, and you have uh, the RSI will move uh, quicker, but uh, some uh, fake signals uh, could, uh, could appear. So uh, that's why we, you can play uh, you can play on this uh, on this on the RSI, but uh, no, I don't really use a moving average on the on the RSI. We can do a chartism on the RSI. RSI, uh, draw uh, trend lines or uh, divergence, but uh, I don't use uh, moving average on the, on the RSI. Okay, thank you. What, Christoph, what do you do when you have conflicting uh, charts? And let me give you an example. Um, you mentioned that you think the dollar might hold against the Australian dollar, meaning that the Australian dollar might weaken, but uh, your view on the Canadian dollar is that the Canadian might actually strengthen further against the U.S. dollar, and normally those two are going to work together. Yeah, exactly. So, so we're yeah. getting a conflicting view. Um, how, how do you play all that? But in fact, I, I believe that uh, technical analysis is very useful in this case because, uh, as you say, uh, many pairs are uh, linked uh, between uh, each other. Uh, we always say that uh, Australian dollar, uh, New Zealand dollar, uh, Canadian dollar are uh, linked uh, with the uh, uh, U.S. dollar, and they uh, move in the in the same way. But uh, we've seen uh, for uh, some uh, some weeks uh, more and more divergences between uh, uh, Canadian dollar and uh, the uh, Pacific uh, currencies, uh, such as uh, New Zealand dollar and uh, Australian dollar. And that's why that uh, we we have seen on the Canadian dollar that uh, a strong, a very strong uh, support level has been broken uh, in the last week, weeks, and uh, which is uh, not the case uh, on the uh, other exotic pairs uh, such as uh, the, the Australian dollar. So in this in this case, maybe it is a false breakout uh, of the uh, Canadian dollar. Uh, maybe there is a strong uh, decorrelation uh, between uh, those two pairs, but uh, as I said uh, earlier in my in my presentation, we don't, as a technical analyst, we don't uh, really mind what if what is uh, at the origin of the uh, of the price movement. So if on the Canadian dollar we see that the support is broken, then we sell. We sell. If you see that uh, on the Australian dollar that uh, the, the resistance still hold uh, on the upside, we don't buy because the resistance uh, this uh, resistance uh, still hold, uh, so we, we we still short even if uh, the Canadian dollar has, has already broken. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, decorrelations of uh, different currencies uh, could happen. And uh, if you uh, follow, uh, I will say uh, blindly your uh, your uh, the former correlation between uh, those uh, currencies. Maybe you can uh, be stopped uh, 
and uh, on uh, on uh, different trades and uh, make uh, make losses. So uh, I would say. Uh, uh, as long as the uh, resistance on the Australian dollar uh, holds, uh, I won't uh, be uh, I won't be long uh, on this pair. Even if uh, and uh, I will I will add as you seen in uh, on the chart, the, the RSI was not really on the upside. So so uh, as the RSI was uh, turning down and uh, the Australian dollar still holds uh, uh, the, the resistance uh, still holds on the upside. I would say I won't turn uh, turn my uh, my view uh, on the upside, even if uh, the Canadian dollar has uh, already broken its uh, its levels. But the situation in, is, in my opinion, not the same in the, in the for these two currencies uh, at the moment, uh, at least. We'll see in the future how it how it could be. But, uh, this is not the case for for the moment. Thank you. W one other question that I have, Krista. Yeah. Looking at um, the three currencies that you said you really didn't like relative to the U.S. dollar, the euro, the British pound, and the Japanese yen, do you have a favorite there? Yeah, uh, U.S. dollar versus uh, Japanese yen. Uh, as uh, as I said before, as you can see uh, on the chart, uh, the the pair has broken uh, above a very nice uh, declining trend line, which comes from. Uh, from uh, many, uh, I will say, quarters ago, many uh, many months and many quarters ago. So th this is a, a great signal, and uh, I think this, this could be uh, the current level as the uh, U.S. dollar versus uh, Japanese yen is pulling back on its uh, new support. I, I think the, the current level is a good opportunity to enter a long position uh, on the uh, U.S. dollar. Uh, against uh, the Japanese yen. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange listed securities are cash settled in U.S. dollars and have a European style exercise.